All right, what we're going to do here is change the software in an M&M refrigeration recip compressor panel. The first thing we need to do is, is uh, save off some set points. The EEPROM is right here. We're going to change that chip, but prior to doing that, we're going to want to make sure we save the set points. All right, to do that, you start with using the menus hotkey. You want to go to system setup, which is menu item four. Initialization, also number four, and set point save and restore, which is three. At this point, we use the enter key to select save, which is going to save our set points from battery backed up RAM into a non volatile memory on the board. Hit the save button. It says the save and restore is successful. At this point, we can turn the power off and change the software. All right, you can shut the power off, turn off both circuit breakers. All right, at this point, you can use uh, any number of tools to take the EEPROM out. You can use a small screwdriver or an extractor. I'm going to use the screwdriver because it's a little bit simpler. You, you insert the screwdriver between the chip and the socket and very gently pry it out on both sides. Alright, that, making sure you don't bend any of the pins. Okay, in this case we're going to put the same chip back in but we want to make sure that the notch on the chip matches the notch in the socket. And what I usually do is try to align either the top row or the bottom row of pins first and then push the bottom row in. Before you drive it home, visually look at all the pins and make sure that they're in the socket and feel for it as you push it in. It should go in with, you know, very smoothly without any bent pins. Okay? At this point, we can turn the power back on. We watch for the watchdog LED flashing green, which shows we've plugged it in right. The software shows that it's initializing. And now at this point, we can restore the set points back into memory. So once again, we go to menus, initialization. All right. Save restore. This time we want to scroll to the restore selection and hit save. At this point, all the set points have been restored back into memory and we're ready to run.